It seems like 2022 is shaping up to be an absolutely epic year for video games with gigantic releases from Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. But more than that, I've been fascinated by the fact that we're seeing this series of anniversaries. A lot of the biggest games that established this entire art form are sort of growing up. Think about the fact that recently we had the 35th anniversary of things like Final Fantasy. Zelda just had his birthday, and now there's things like the Cat. Castlevania, big gigantic celebration. Except here's the difference. Konami hates you. Konami as a studio absolutely seems to despise the fans that helped them get big in the first place. And today, that's what we got to talk about. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. And just real quick before we actually dig into the cringe, which this is definitely that, I want to say a gigantic thank you. This is the first video on the new computer. I can now render all my reviews in 4K whenever I'm talking about video games, news reviews. This I'm just really happy. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel, giving those likes, and of course, leaving me all the nice comments. But now, let's dig into this. To celebrate Castlevania's 35th anniversary, Konami has announced Castlevania NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Now, real quickly, just in case you don't know what an NFT is, these are sort of like, I mean, how do I even describe this? They're like Bitcoin pictures. They're singular images or pieces of data that you can legally own. So you don't technically own the rights to this art. You'll own a copy of the art forever and ever. And you can also sell it. Now, the weird thing about this is that I'm annoyed because they're just in general kind of a stupid idea. Very few people actually own NFTs. They're like this weird way for rich kids to play, you know, have like Pokemon cards. It's Pokemon cards for millionaire losers. But this is what's annoying about it is that I feel like companies are trying to cash in because it looks like easy money. Now, Konami definitely is just trying to swoop in because they can't make anything new. Konami is in this weird spot now where they're not creating any new giant IPs. They're not making new series. They're not making new arts. They're not going to make another Metal Gear Solid, maybe a Metal Gear Solid remake at this point, but they lack all creativity. Have you seen their recent games? I've played them. They did this game called Contra Hard Corpse. It had a panda with a minigun. The game is disrespectful to Contra. It's disrespectful to you. It seems to suck in every single way imaginable. But you know what? Here's what annoys me the most. Let me actually go to the website here. So here it is, the Castlevania 35th Anniversary NFT website. Now, let me just say first and foremost, here is what pisses me off personally about this. Not only are NFTs dumb, like it's really weird that you can buy these pictures. My problem is the fact that this is really well done. Like that's straight up. This is what annoys me. This is the best page on the entire Konami website. And it's basically an auction house for you to buy digital art that you can put into a digital wallet and then sell to other people who are digital art collectors. Now look at this. There's auction times. Go to the NFT auction page. Like this, this is the weirdest thing possible. Now, Along with this, here's what's specifically odd about this. So it looks like you're going to be able to buy art. You're going to be able to buy, I think, music. Like, look at this. This is so weird. So you're going to buy these, these things. In commemoration of the 35th anniversary, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing about how stupid this whole thing is. In commemoration of the 35th anniversary of the Castlevania series, NFTs featuring classic scenes, background music, and newly drawn art from Castlevanias has been issued. Like, you get one copy of each item. Now, here's the ridiculousness about this, is that there is so many things they could have done with this. Like, straight up, <laughs> I keep thinking about the fact that Konami, all people want from them is video games. Like, I feel like people aren't just making unnecessary demands. People aren't asking them to redefine the genre. Nobody's asking you to bring back the servers for Metal Gear Online. Like, I would like that. Everybody just wants you to basically make your games playable on current gen tech. That, that's it. People would literally die happy if every single Castlevania is playable, accessible, fun, and on current gen systems. That's it. Like, 
one of the most celebrated games of last year that everybody was talking about as just how perfectly well done it was, was the Castlevania collection that they did for the Game Boy Advance games put on Nintendo Switch. It's so polished. It's so good. Everybody loved it. And I'm laughing because that was so easy. They made millions of dollars releasing already awesome games and everybody literally gave them the biggest round of applause. And you know how they decided to follow that up? On the actual anniversary in auction house for JPEGs. <laughs> I'm laughing because put yourself in this circumstance. Imagine you work at Konami and you have the infinite breadth and scope of every possible option of things to celebrate this. Huh? Do we want to do a Castlevania concert? Do we want to bring back the original creators and do like a round table discussion about the origins of Castlevania? Like they had a million options and they chose auction house for pictures. You know what's funny about Konami? Konami is this very rich soil. A lot of very good game developers have begun there and then everybody ends up leaving. Like everybody talks about how cool Hideo Kojima is. Hideo Kojima, as soon as he could, seems to have walked out that door. Like even if you don't love Death Stranding, it's interesting that Death Stranding is such a unique project. Every time Hideo Kojima is talking about, you know, hints of a future horror project, it stirs up the internet with so much different hype. Like this is a guy who could have stayed at Konami forever if they actually respected their creators. Think about Iga, the guy who sort of made like Castlevania into the greatest it is today. He's the guy who did Symphony of the Night. That dude immediately left as soon as they stopped letting him work on Castlevania and made Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which is basically the best modern Metroidvania we have. Here is what's so ridiculous about this is... Let's look at the fact that right now, Limited Run Games is doing a better celebration for this than Castlevania themselves. The developers do not care as much as these fans are. So Limited Run Games, they release these special collector's edition things. They're pretty expensive. I'm not sure I'm going to buy this. Yeah, look at that, $174. $174 to me is a lot of money, but this is extremely cool. This is the limited edition, ultimate edition of Castlevania Requiem. So this is Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night. Most people think that Symphony of the Night is the greatest Castlevania, myself included. Look at everything this includes. Physical edition, a sweet coffin, all these different pieces of art. And you know what's most important about this? Clearly, it respects the fans. First and foremost, even if I did not actually want to spend $174, I can easily tell this is made by the fans for the fans. This is a work of love and passion and art. If Literally, literally just this. If we just saw some sort of special re-release edition by Konami, I feel like people would have just went, all right, cool, I understand why you did that. People are not expecting the biggest, craziest thing ever. It's just the fact that it's, what we're getting is a giant middle finger. Like straight up, this this is literally Konami right now. It's Konami is looking at all the fans and they go, oh, hey, you really like our series? Too bad, move on, buy an NFT or F off. This is... It's disrespectful. I'll, I'll be straight up. I've seen some pretty dirty things. Now, to me, this isn't just that it's an NFT. It's not just that NFTs are bad for the environment and stupid and overpriced. To me, it just shows that Castlevania to them is just a thing to sell. It is just how can we do the lowest amount of work for the highest amount of profit? Do you know where Konami gets most of their money now? Gambling. Konami owns a bunch of stupid freaking parlors, all these little like tiny casinos in Japan that sell pachinko. Like that's all they want. Easy money. That's all you are, a cash cow. Even if you love Castlevania, I sincerely ask you, don't support this trash. Let the NFT bros toy around with these stupid assets. Leave this alone. Let Konami rot. Let them just sit there and steep in their ignorance until they actually make a good game, a good remake, or give us a chance to respect them again. Well, these have just been some off-the-cuff thoughts. Love you guys very much. Hopefully this looks good. Uh, all future videos, I'm setting it up so there's going to be a green screen here so I can just have, like, gameplay and stuff. But I'm still working on the lighting because lighting a green screen is harder than I thought it was going to be. Much love to you guys. Have an awesome day. And F Konami. Also, keep dreaming.
Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.